or you will be relieved. out the intro got to add it back in and post but this is rank two versus stork let's find out who's up here at the two o'clock position in purple it's stork not sure who that was but stork is up at the two o'clock position meaning at the ten o'clock in blue is rank two now there is one thing i have to get out of the way right now is that i will not be able to be neutral in this game because I was reading the live report thread on Team Liquid for Day 2. After I got done commentating OSL Day 2, I went to the live report thread. I always like to see what people say about the games. And I didn't realize this, but Stork was on the brink of a an OSL record of 100 wins in an OSL. Only Boxer and Yellow have ever gotten 100 wins in an OSL. So that would put Stork among the elites. But obviously Stork lost versus Sue, so Stork has another chance of getting freaking 100 wins in an OSL in this game. So screw neutrality, I'm rooting for Stork in this damn game. Harang 2 fans, I'm sorry, but that's just the way it's gotta be. I'm sure you'll understand. Alright, let's get a few predictions from the dudes. Here's one from Spider Waffle, writes, Harang 2 will beat Stork in a 35 minute PvP. Hey man, what did I just say? Sorry, that was my interjection. In which Stork out outplays him for 34 minutes, but will make a very slight max army positioning mistake and barely lose. Gonna strangle you, man. Here's another one from Kvam Kvam, writes, The year of Rang 2 is here. The new dragon will claim his title with epic building placement. <sighs> You're making me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Rawr! Okay, I pulled off my shirt a little bit, but not completely broken. I don't have purple pants on, so I can't completely hulk up. Alright. I see that rank 2 is going out the scout. Both getting the cybernetic scores. Okay, let's get another prediction then. Here's one from Ranchin DA, whoever the hell that is. For some reason, whenever I see Stork in a best of 16 with Zergs in the group, I get really, really nervous. Hell, I get nervous anyway. My Brood War scent starts to tingle, and part of me screams that Stork is going to get crushed by crazy Harang 2 cheese, zero macro glory, and maybe eke out a win against Sue. Hope I'm wrong, honestly. I call him going 1-2 and then making it out of the group through tiebreaker awesomeness. Bork fighting! Thank you, Ranch. At least someone is rooting for Stork. God. Actually, here's another one. King Galby writes, Go Stork! Heart. Thank you, King, King Galby. And Ranjin. You dudes are the greatest dudes. But okay. Second gateway on the way for Harang 2. I'm going to have to take a look inside of Stork's base. I see the Dragoon range spinning as well for Harang 2. And I'm actually fearing for Stork in this game. I'm fearing he might not get his 100th win in this game just because Harang 2 is a... PvP specialist. As good as Stork is in PvP, he's not a PvP specialist like Harang 2 is. Harang 2 was often sent out in Pro League games specifically for PvP games because his PvP is just that good. So Harang 2 is definitely in his element in this game. But we'll have to see how it plays out. They're both going for a very mirrored build. Uh, the two gateways with the Dragoon range a spinning. And let's see what this little probe decides to do. A uh, little Stork probe sitting there. Stork sighing a bit. He's like, God, man, I want to freaking break a record. Who wouldn't want to break a freaking record? But the robotics facility, 
is going to be a little bit later for Stork. He just now threw down the robotics, and Harang 2 had it going a bit quicker. Let's take a look here. Dragoon Rain's not yet done for Stork. I think it might actually have been done for Harang 2. Seems to be going a little bit speedier with everything. Now, it just got done for Stork. And his robotics is on the way. So we should see some uh, Dragoon battles soon. Dragoon micro battles. Of course, Stork is very good with the micro engagements. And he's, in fact, he's coming in right now to do... Uh, a Dragoon engagement kind of backs off a bit. But Stork is extremely good with micro. It's one of his biggest strengths. And he's boosted his back row in recent years too, which has made him such a strong presence in individual leagues and pro league alike. Even though he's a veteran player, he has somehow managed to get his mechanics up to the new dudes level. Really, Stork shouldn't be <laughs> playing StarCraft anymore since he's been around since 2005. The players from that era are not really hanging around these days. You don't really see much of them. But Stork has kind of been an anomaly as far as that goes. But I see the Robotic Support Bay for both. Robotic Support Bay going to come up for both at just about the same time, I think. Stork has a shuttle hovering over the robotics facility. Neither has really done much in the way of attacking yet. They're both waiting for the Reavers before they do anything. Stork pressured the front a little bit. But of course he backed off when he noticed that Harang 2 had the same number of Dragoons. Here's a second base on the way for rank 2. And uh, Stork just waiting for that Reaver. I don't know why I've been adding the word <laughs> A before everything today. I kind of get on these little moods, I like to say certain things. He's been a waiting. Yeehaw! Alright. See the observer in looking what's going on. Third gateway being added for rank 2, working on a strong ground army. The observatory just now coming up for Stork, so he can't snipe that observer yet that's out for Harang 2. So Harang is going to get the scout on the Reaver that's headed his way. And the rest of the troops that are on the way for Stork. Stork is grouping up with an awful lot of Dragoons, tons of Dragoons, working their way to this position. And since Harang kind of went for a different tack, went for the uh, observers, pumped some observers, and getting out that additional gateway is going to put him a little bit behind in Dragoons. But he should have the Reaver in as soon as Stork attacks. And Stork is kind of bottlenecked here, which uh, Harang could use to his advantage. But you got to get the Reaver first. The Reaver he lands a Scarab on two of the Dragoons. Come on, some more Dragoons going down. The Reaver now coming in for Harang, trying to get this around uh, with the probes. But he's losing tons and tons of Dragoons. He's lost another couple of Dragoons to uh, the Scarab. Uh, but uh, Rang, he loses his Reaver and a bunch of probes. The probes that were pulled in to surround the Dragoons all went down. That was absolutely devastating for Harang, I think. Yeah, that's going to put his economy way behind uh, <laughs> losing that many probes like that. Uh, the smirk from Harang is like, oh, that was kind of a short game, wasn't it? Yeah, the pr yeah, probes are being harassed again. That's it. Harang taps out and Stork! Gets his 100th win in the OSL. Stork up there with Boxer and Yellow for 100 freaking OSL wins. I thought it would be a nail biter in Stork's last game versus Zero in this group, but hey, I'll take what I can get. Alright, this has been Nukes. See you all tomorrow for more commentaries.